Perimeter, scaling up. What is it? The total distance around all the edges of a 2D shape. Why? You can draw a plan for a building if you make it smaller. Interesting fact, most deer are born with white spots but lose them within a year. So let's go ahead and read the steps in order to find the perimeter of scaling up a, an image on a grid. So let's step one, label the side length of each square. Step two, add each side. Step three, find the perimeter. So let's go ahead and read the question because that's the first thing you should do. Find the perimeter of the figure if each square is two square centimeters. As you can see on the top right of the screen, each side length of uh, the square is going to be two. So that means everywhere we see side length, we need to put the number two. And now we can go ahead and add the number together. So on the top, you have two twos, which gives me four. And if you work out our way clockwise uh, we, we have three twos which gives me six and then two twos for the bottom which gives me four and three twos for the left which gives me six and now we can go ahead and add them together I usually pick the top and work my way clockwise once again too so that I don't forget any of the side lengths and then four plus six is gives me ten ten plus four is fourteen fourteen plus six gives me twenty so the perimeter of this figure is, is 20 centimeters. So let's take a look at example two. And let's read the question to see if anything's different. Find the perimeter of the figure if each square is two square centimeters. So it's the same. So that means each side length of the square is going to give me two. We can, so we can write each uh, two on each, on each side length of a square in, uh, for the grid. And now we can go ahead and add them together. So the top is four twos, which gives me eight. Work our way clockwise. There are three twos for the right, which gives me six. Four twos for the bottom, which gives me eight. And finally, three twos for the left, which gives me six. Now we can go ahead and add them all together. And eight plus six is 14. 14 plus eight is 22. And 22 plus six is 28. So the perimeter of this figure is 28 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and take a look at example three. Let's read the question and see if there's anything different. Find the perimeter of the figure if each square is three square centimeters. Well, as you can see on the top right of your screen, each square in the, on the grid is going to give me three centimeters for the length. So instead of writing two like the previous two examples, we're going to write three. So now we still the same process. Now we add each side. So the top. There's four threes, now I can add them together, which gives me 12. Now work our way clockwise. We have three threes for the right, which is nine. Continue working our way clockwise. There's four threes, which gives me 12. And left, which has three threes, which is nine. So now we can go ahead and add these together. And now we get 12 plus nine, which is 21. 21 plus 12 is 33. And 33 plus nine is 42. So the perimeter of this figure is 42 centimeters. Now it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these two questions. And I'm going to show you the answers in three, two, and one. Here are the answers. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.